Hi everyone, it's Allie and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. Um, I'm going to be talking about a perfume in particular, which is really hyped up on YouTube. A lot of people talk about it and for good reason. It's a really beautiful perfume and it's very crowd pleasing. And that's going to be Girl of Now by Ellie Saab. Now, I see a lot of people, like I said, talk about this perfume, but while I was sort of exploring my collection of fragrances, I noticed that I had some that were very similar to this one. And I feel like I kind of want to talk about that because the perfumes I have on this list, it's a total of five, including this one, have very similar vibes to Girl of Now. And if you've ever been interested in trying Girl Up Now and maybe you own some of these and have wondered about this one, then this will sort of let you gauge what this one is sort of gonna be like in a weird way. Because all the ones I have sort of feel like they could almost be like a flanker to Girl Up Now. They fall under that same sweet category, that same genre of scent, where they're very sort of vanilla heavy smelling, very candied and sweet. And I feel like they're definitely very related in a weird way, even though they're all from different brands. So that's what we're gonna be talking about today. But before I get started, of course, I wanna touch a little bit on Ellie Saab, the brand in general. So Ellie Saab is actually, and I feel like this is an important fact, people usually think by hearing the name Ellie Saab that it's a female that, you know, created the brand. It's actually a male. And his name is Ellie Saab. So sometimes there's confusion since the name sounds so feminine. But no, the designer from the Ellie Saab house is a male. He is from Lebanon. And he specialized in bridal couture. And if you don't know what that means, he basically made wedding gowns that were very expensive, high-end, beautiful, extravagant. That's what he specializes in. But he started delving into fragrance as well and has released things like Le Parfum by Ellie Saab, Girl of Now, which is one of his top sellers. And I'm going to be focusing on Ellie Saab, Girl of Now, and my thoughts on this perfume in particular, because it's a really an interesting one. And I feel like it's most well known for its pistachio note. So, and it's a beautiful perfume in general. I can see why people are so hyped up about this one in particular. And I have it here on a test trip as well. So I've let it sit for a little bit to really give you my thoughts on the dry down and what I think about it. So right off the bat, you do get those woody, not woody, those um, nutty notes. It's got notes of almond milk, almond, and pistachio, making this a very nutty perfume. But they almost smell like a candied, like, nut. It's got mandarin orange, pear pistachio, orange blossom, magnolia. It's got patchouli and cashmere, which sort of gives it like kind of a fluffy cloud effect, almost like Ariana Grande's cloud, but very, very nutty. It's also got tonka bean, which adds sort of like a depth and sweetness to it. It's a really, really beautiful perfume. I would describe it as basically like candied nuts, like in a really syrupy, sugary base sort of tossed in like, you know, sugar being cooked on a stove outdoors type feel. Or almost like a cotton candy that was almond or pistachio flavored cotton candy. It's very like sponge sugary, very airy. It projects beautifully. It's very feminine, just very pretty in general. And honestly, a really well-rounded scent. If you're into very candied, sort of nutty scents, then you'll definitely enjoy this one, especially fluffy cotton candy type scents. It's a really good option and I really do enjoy it. But there are, like I said, other perfumes on this list that are very reminiscent of this one that I feel like if you own any of these, you might not want to buy this one. Or maybe if you want a little bit of variety and you just enjoy this scent so much, these will be subtle yet different enough to own options that will still give you that sweetness that this is known for, that sort of cotton candy, sponge sugar type sweetness, but with a little bit more variety. Now, the first one that I'm gonna be talking about is a new one that came out in 2019. This is by Azaro and it's called Wanted Girl. I have it here on a little tester strip also. 
This one is really beautiful. And this one is actually known for its Dulce de Leche Accord that it has. If you don't know what Dulce de Leche is, it's basically just candied milk, like a condensed candied milk. It's used in a lot of Latin American cuisine, especially in desserts and candies. It's really, really yummy. If you've ever had dulce de leche, you know what I'm talking about. It's a very candied sweet milk. So this has ginger blossom, pink pepper, pomegranate, which makes it sort of fruity. And you definitely get the pomegranate in the dry down. Datura, which I'm not sure what exactly Datura is, that dulce de leche accord that I was talking about. It's got vetiver, tonka, and a patchouli essence, which really allows the scent to carry and project for a pretty long time, I find. I honestly love this one so much, and it's very similar to Elisab's Girl of Now, especially in the opening. The opening is where I find the most similarities to Elisab's Girl of Now. You get right off the bat that very candied, fluffy sweetness that Girl of Now is known for, and where Girl of Now sort of dries down into a more, a more nutty, cloudy, fluffy sort of scent. This one dries down to a cloudy, fruity, tart scent because of that pomegranate note. It becomes very tart, but in like the best way. It's almost, it almost feels like cotton, not cotton candy, but what are, they, what are they called? Cranberries, there we go. I don't know why I wanted to say cotton candy. It almost feels like a cotton candy flavored, I don't know, why do I keep saying cotton candy? Like every single video, I swear you guys, I swear. I'm just stupid, oh, I'm sorry. It's, it almost smells like a cranberry flavored cotton candy. It's really, really beautiful. The way this sits on the skin is so beautiful. It's very elegant, it's very girly. I could easily see this being a signature scent. If you love Elisab's Girl of Now, and then you're definitely gonna love a Wanted Girl by Azaro. And I mean, the bottle's just beautiful in my opinion. It sort of is reminiscent of like pulling the trigger on a gun, just sort of like pew pew pew. It's really unique, it's really pretty. It's the first female fragrance from the Azaro line that they have launched. And honestly, this is a really solid, good launch. I love this one a lot. It's a very easy to wear. It's perfect for every day. This can be a perfect signature. Just so, so good. I feel like it's a perfect, well-rounded, sweet scent that's very reminiscent of Girl of Now. Now, the next one that I'm gonna talk about is sort of like one that I didn't wanna put on my list, but I felt like I still wanted to talk about it just because it is, and don't get mad, a discontinued fragrance, but you can still find it online. If you go to the mall and you check those fragrance uh, little kiosks that have like all the different fragrances, you can usually find this one there. And I highly suggest picking it up if it's something that you're interested in. Also, I've been seeing this recently at TJ Maxx, which is really cool because they have the huge like five ounce bottles of this, which if this is something you want to try or if you know what I'm talking about, then go pick it up because it's a gorgeous, gorgeous scent. The next one I'm going to talk about is Tender Romance by, ooh, is this gonna like, oh, there it goes. Tender Romance by Ralph Lauren. And this is a really, really beautiful one too. It's very reminiscent also in the opening of Girl of Now where you sort of get that fluffy sponge sugar effect that's super like soft and just hazy feeling. And it's really, really yummy. This one is heavier on the fruits, I feel like. So if you like Elisab's Girl of Now, this is a much fruitier version of it. It's really, really beautiful and it's really well done. And this is honestly my favorite flanker from the Romance line from Ralph Lauren. They have quite a few different flankers. I don't know why they discontinued this one because this flanker is literal perfection. And you guys, it's got notes of bergamot, ginger, pear, which makes it really sort of luscious and very juicy smelling. Whenever there's pear in something, you can almost always expect that it's gonna be very luscious are very juicy. It's got white ginger lily, white magnolia, jasmine, cashmere and wood, benzoin, and musk. It's pretty musky, 
but it's not overly musky where it's going to bother you. It's very feminine, very dainty, very fruity, very sweet. It also has that cotton candy effect, sort of like Ellie Saab. Even in the dry down, you never really lose that cotton candy effect, but it's sort of like if it was a fruit flavored cotton candy. And it's really, really beautiful, very feminine, very reminiscent of Ellie Saab's Girl of Now. If you like the thought of Ellie Saab's Girl of Now, but you wanted something a little fruitier, definitely a great option. Harder to find, like I've said, but it's definitely out there if it's something that you're interested in. And if I can find it online, you know, I want to link it down below for you guys. Really good option. I honestly love that one. And it's my favorite personal blinker. Now, the next one that I'm going to talk about is one that is almost an identical dupe to Ellie Sop's Girl of Now. And this one you can find for pretty inexpensive. I found this one for like $28 at TJ Maxx. And it's Boss Babe Misguided. You guys, this one is basically like identical. It smells so much like Ellie Sop's Girl of Now. If you want to try Ellie Sop, Look for this one at your local TJ Maxx, no joke. Almost an identical dupe. It's a really, really rich, it's really beautiful. I find that this one almost projects a little better than Girl of Now. It's got notes of that pear, that bergamot, it's got that pistachio note, you guys, that Girl of Now is known for. It's got rose, it's got almond milk, which also is in Girl of Now. Magnolia, orange patchouli, Amber Tonka Vanilla Musk Sandalwood. This one is almost, in my opinion, a little better than Ellie Sop's Girl of Now. Don't get me wrong, the projection and the longevity of Girl of Now is amazing. I get at least eight hours wear on my skin from Girl of Now, but this gives me like 10 to 12. And it's so affordable, $28. It's gonna last all friggin' day. It projects even more. It sort of just pushes out a bit more. I don't know if it's, it's really hard to tell what's making it push out so much more. And the similarities are so minute as far as the scent goes. It basically smells like nuts being tossed in like some sort of sugar. It's so yummy. It smells really, really good. And if you like Elisop's Girl of Now or are curious to try it, check this one out boss babe misguided really good option and almost an identical dupe i really like that one a lot you guys so the next one that i'm going to talk about or my final one that i'm going to talk about see i keep smelling the paper it just smells so dang good oh i need to put that down you guys i'm so bad i'm like oh, i could smell these papers all day anyway uh, sorry. The last one that I'm going to talk about is the one from Be Layered. It just launched not that long ago. I don't have a full size bottle of this one yet, but I probably will end up picking it up at some point, being that I like to keep up on a lot of their launches. But this one is called Close Encounter. And like I said, I only have a small sample of it. It's called Close Encounter. And this is very reminiscent of Ellie Saab's Girl of Now. But it's sort of a different take. It's a different enough that I can justify owning it for myself, for my collection. But very, very, very similar. So like I said, Ellie Sobs is still very, very nutty. This one is a little bit different. It's got notes of exotic flowers. It's got that sugar, pink pepper, a marshmallow note, cotton candy, and other notes that they don't disclose because they're trying to keep it as part of their secret recipe. But I'm pretty sure there's probably almond, maybe even that pistachio note is present. But this one again is very fluffy smelling. To my nose, there's something a little bit plasticky smelling about this. Almost like smelling a Barbie right out of the box. That sort of sweet plasticky smell. It doesn't bother me. I actually think it makes it sort of unique and really interesting. And I don't know if it's the exotic flower accord that they're using in this. It could very well be. Something about the floral note in this is what gives it that sort of plasticky smell. 
because it almost smells like it could be something green. It's very hard to pinpoint. And sometimes green mixed with vanillas can sort of give a little bit of a medicinal effect, almost like an aura by Mugler. But it's really, really good. If you like the thought of sampling, like I said before, Girl of Now, this is another really good option. And the House of Bee Layered is really affordable. It's really, really good. I own tons of their fragrances. And for good reason, they are a great house. They do their own interpretations of other scents, their own original creations. Their single notes are bomb. And this one is no exception. You can smell the quality. But if you own Girl of Now, maybe you won't want to try this one because it's very, very similar. The only difference is that it's more of a candied floral but it still has that cotton candy effect that Girl of Now is known for. So I would almost say like this is a cotton candy that was somehow scented with a floral note. And it just smells really pretty. I don't know how else to describe it other than just a cotton candy floral perfume. It's really, really nice. All these perfumes that I talked about are unique in their own way but they all sort of have that same spun sugar, fluffy effect that Girl of Now has. And if you like that effect, then these are definitely ones you should go check out. Add them to your collection if you want a little bit of variety that's different enough to justify to own, or maybe, you know, like I said, with this one in particular, you just want to try Girl of Now and it's not readily accessible to you, but maybe it's at your TJ Maxx and there you go, you can try it out. It's definitely inexpensive, it's under $30, and it lets you try something out that, you know, this one can be a little bit pricey. It's still affordable for most people, but it can be a little pricey for some, which is totally understandable. And most of these are pretty affordable. I think the Tender Romance might be a little bit more pricey just because it is a discontinued scent, so like I said, Go out and find it if you can. The five ounce huge bottle that they had at my TJ Maxx was I think like $80, which is crazy good for five ounces. Like this is a three ounce bottle. So like the five ounce bottle is like that much bigger. It's a big bottle. And if you like it, that's gonna last you forever. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, thank you guys for checking out the video. I hope this was helpful. I know it was a little different than my normal videos. But hey, I figured I'd change it up and I had the idea during the week after I started smelling perfumes in my collection that were just sort of giving me those vibes and I thought this would be a really helpful video for a lot of you. So uh, till next time you guys, I will be dropping another video very soon and I'm gonna be talking about uh, the new release from Lancome, the, the uh, La Via Belle Intensement. So if that's something you're interested in, Stay tuned because I will be back with that one shortly. Till next time, you guys. Bye.